If you're daydreaming about conquering off-road trails but can't stomach the thought of enduring a commute in a vehicle that feels like it's auditioning for a role in a construction site, fear not. Enter the 2024 Land Rover Defender, the superhero of SUVs that manages to be both a rugged trailblazer and a refined city slicker. Forget about its truckish rivals like the Jeep Wrangler and Lexus GX, the Defender is the Chuck Norris of off-road vehicles, and your daily commute is its action movie. Slipping behind the wheel is like jumping from a wild jungle expedition to a smooth road trip in one graceful move. It's basically the James Bond of SUVs, unstoppable on the ORV trail, yet as suave as can be on the urban asphalt. With a range of powertrains and three body styles to choose from, the Defender is the chameleon of SUVs. Feeling fancy up for the two-door 90 model and roll into town like a celebrity at a red carpet event. Got a mini soccer team to transport fear not, the extended wheelbase 130 model has your back with extra space and a third row of seats that's actually usable, unlike that cramped space in economy class. Most folks will likely settle for the Goldilocks of Defenders, the mid-sized 110 trim. It's like the Defender thought, I'll give you the cool factor of the 90, but with a sprinkle of extra practicality. It's the SUV that is just right for most buyers, not too big, not too small, but just enough to turn heads wherever you go. And let us talk about personality, the Defender doesn't tee just drive, it struts its stuff on the road. Even the base models come with more creature comforts than the utilitarian ancestors that kicked off the Land Rover brand. It's like upgrading from a camping trip in a leaky tent to a glamping getaway in a luxury cabin, without losing an ounce of adventure. So, if you want an SUV that can handle both the untamed wilderness and the civilized city streets with the flair of a Hollywood star, the 2024 Land Rover Defender is your ticket to off-road fame and on-road glamour. Buckle up, because this is one ride that takes you from mud to the red carpet without breaking a sweat. Prepare to meet the Land Rover Defender 130, now in its outbound trim, where it's decided to ditch the third row of seats and the rearmost windows like it's Marie Kondo decluttering its life. Out with the old, in with the cargo space. It's like the Defender went full minimalist, trading seating capacity for extra room to carry all the essentials, because who needs passengers when you've got adventure gear, right but wait, there is more. This 130 model is now flexing its muscles with the optional 518 horsepower supercharged V8. It's like the Defender decided it needed a little extra kick to conquer both the concrete jungle and the off-road wilderness. Who said a rugged SUV can't have a touch of speedster swag? And let us not forget the 110 model, it's got a fancy new county exterior package. Picture this, a two-tone paint scheme that is so stylish, it makes other SUVs jealous. And those 20-inch wheels they're like the stilettos of the car world, tall, sleek, and ready to strut its stuff on the asphalt runway. But it doesn't T-stop there, illuminated door sill protectors and interior embellishments that match the exterior, because why should the outside have all the fun? In a world where SUVs are becoming more than just four wheels and an engine, the Land Rover Defender is stepping up its game. Out with the old, in with the bold, because who says an off-road beast can't have a little fashion forward flare the Defender 130 and 110 are here to prove that they're not just vehicles, they're statements, and they're making them loud and clear, one stylish trim at a time. Sure, the two-door 90 model might look like the SUV version of a sports car, sleek, stylish, and ready for a good time. But let us be real, unless you're a contortionist or planning to transport a circus troupe, the four-door 110 and 130 models are the practical superheroes of the Defender lineup. Now, if you want to be the James Bond of SUV owners, we do recommend sliding into the 110 Southeast trim level. It's like the Defender upgraded its wardrobe with 19-inch aluminum wheels, because size matters, even in the car fashion world. Automatic high beam headlamps it's like having your own personal lighting crew wherever you go. And those 12-way power adjustable front seats forget about the iron throne, this is where the real power lies. But wait, there is more tech than a Silicon Valley startup, a digital gauge display that is basically the SUV's version of a high-tech dashboard. It's so fancy, it probably speaks in Siri's voice. And because Land Rover knows you're not just buying an SUV, you're crafting an identity, they VE got accessory packages that turn your Defender into a themed masterpiece. Want a beach vibe their SA package for that? Craving an urban jungle explorer look yep, they got it covered. The customization options are so vast, you might need a personal stylist to navigate them. So, while we could recommend all the amazing features and accessories, we're not control freaks. We'll let you take the wheel, both literally and metaphorically, on this customization adventure. 
because when it comes to making your Defender truly yours, Land Rover says, you do you. Picture this, the Land Rover Defender, the superhero of SUVs, is powered by a standard turbocharged four-cylinder engine, because even superheroes need a sidekick. It's got an 8-speed automatic transmission, ensuring smoother gear shifts than a dance routine by Fred Astaire. Now, when it comes to tackling treacherous terrain, the Defender doesn't team mess around. It's south got four-wheel drive and locking differentials, it's like having a cheat code for nature. But wait, there is more! For those who want a little extra oomph, there is a 3.0-liter inline six with an electric supercharger and a 48-volt hybrid system. It's the SUV equivalent of a power-up in a video game, because who wouldn't he want their Defender to have a hybrid cape? We took the long wheelbase 130 model for a spin with this powerhouse, and let me tell you, it hits 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds, faster than it takes most people to decide what to order at a drive through But if you're craving the kind of speed that makes your hair stand on end, there is the 518 horsepower supercharged V8. The Defender 90, with this beast under the hood, zoomed to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds in our testing, it's basically the SUV version of a rocket launch. Now, forget everything you knew about the old Defender. This one ditched the body on frame setup for a sleek unibody construction, and those solid axles are so last season, it's rocking a fully independent suspension now. The base suspension comes with coil springs, but for those who want to feel like they're floating on air, there is an upgrade to an air suspension with adjustable ride height. It's like having a magic carpet, but with better ground clearance, 11.5 inches to be exact. And when it comes to fording through water, the Defender laughs at obstacles, with the ability to tackle 35 inches of water like it's strolling through a puddle. So, buckle up for a ride that's more thrilling than a roller coaster and more capable than a Swiss Army knife, the Land Rover Defender, because off-roading just got a whole lot cooler. Hold on to your gas caps, because we're about to dive into the wild world of Land Rover Defender fuel efficiency, or lack thereof, depending on your perspective. So, the EPA's fuel economy ratings for these Defenders are like a game of musical chairs, no matter which engine you choose, the music stops, and you're left with similar numbers. The 90 model, sporting the four-cylinder, probably flaunts its 18 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway, it's like the eco-friendly athlete of the lineup. Now, if you're feeling fancy with the six-cylinder engine in the 90, the city rating takes a hit, dropping to 17 miles per gallon, but fear not, the highway rating struts up to 23 miles per gallon. It's the Defender's way of saying, I'm trading a bit of city charm for some highway charisma. But here's where it gets interesting. The 110 model with the six-cylinder it's like the sibling sharing homework answers, same estimates as the six-cylinder 90. Copy-paste efficiency, anyone now, the long wheelbase 130 with the six-cylinder is playing the same numbers game, offering 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway, it's like a fuel efficiency symphony. Now, let us talk about the V8 variants. The 110 with the V8 it's living in the fast lane at 14 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. And the 90 with the V8 it's a little more frugal, sipping at 15 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway, because even V8s need to watch their waistlines. But hold your laughter, because when our defenders hit the 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route, the six-cylinder 110X disappointingly delivered 18 miles per gallon, like it was on a fuel diet. And the 130 model it managed only 19 miles per gallon in the same test, it's like the SUV version of a picky eater at an all-you-can-eat buffet. So, in the grand fuel efficiency ballad of the Land Rover Defender, the music might not be a chart topper, but hey, who needs great mileage when you're conquering both the urban jungle and the off-road wilderness it's the price you pay for being the king of versatility. Step into the Land Rover Defender's cabin, and you'll find it strutting the runway between premium and utilitarian like it's a high fashion construction site. They VE sprinkled just enough design magic from the Land Rover lineup to make you feel like you're at home, if your home happens to have exposed rivets in the door panels for that rugged, I build my own log cabin vibe. But hold on to your tool belts because they're as more than meets the eye. That magnesium beam running the width of the dashboard ISNT just for show, it's pulling double duty as both a structural masterpiece and a reminder that this SUV means business. It's like the Defender saying, I'm not just a pretty face, I'm the Iron Man of off-roaders. And let us talk about the trapezoidal extension under the infotainment display. 
It's not a geometric design choice, it's a stage for the climate control system and driving mode buttons, because who needs a plain, old, rectangular extension, right the shift lever and ignition switch decided to skip the center console party and set up shop right there, making the center stack the hottest hangout spot. In some models, they VE gone full transformers on the center console, flip it back, and voila, you've got a jump seat between the driver and passenger. It's like the SUV version of a surprise party, unexpected, but everyone is excited once they see it. Now, when it comes to cargo space, the 90 and 110 models are like those apartments in the city, cozy but not overly spacious. Fold the rear seats, and you've got a cargo bay big enough to make a city apartment jealous. But if you're serious about hauling people and gear, maybe consider the larger Land Rover Discovery or invest in a rooftop cargo carrier, because sometimes you need to think outside the trunk. And for the longer 130 model, sure, it offers extra cargo space with the third row stowed, but once you unleash the seating, it's like playing Tetris with your gear, not much room for anything else. It's the Defender's way of saying, I can carry a party, but maybe not the entire party supply store. So, buckle up for a cabin that s equal parts luxurious and rough and tumble, where every button and switch has a purpose, and surprises lurk around every riveted corner. Welcome to the Defender S Playground, it's not just an SUV, it's an adventure waiting to unfold. Welcome to the Defender S High Tech Command Center, the dashboard, where a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system takes center stage, running the Land Rover equivalent of a tech-savvy genius named Pivi Pro. It's like the SUV version of having your own personal assistant, minus the coffee runs. And if you're feeling extra fancy, there is an optional 11.4-inch display that is larger than life, because who needs a regular-sized screen when you can have a cinematic experience in your car it's like the Defender saying, go big or go home, and I'm definitely not going home. Now, forget about the rest of the Land Rover lineup S Touch Pro Duo interface, the Defender is the rebel, opting for a single touchscreen instead of two. It's like the SUV version of a minimalist, decluttering its digital life. Plus, it's got quicker response times, because in the Defender S world, every second counts. And guess what it can handle over the air software updates for future releases. The Defender is like that friend who is always updating their wardrobe, but in this case, it's the digital wardrobe. But that is not all, folks. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are like the VIP guests at this tech party, they're standard, because even defenders know you can't pick sides in the great smartphone war. And let us not forget the in-dash navigation system, because getting lost is so last century. Need a soundtrack for your off-road adventures the Defender S got you covered with a 6-speaker stereo. Feeling like a music mogul upgrade to the 10 or 14-speaker Meridian stereo systems, it's the SUV version of a private concert, right in your car. But wait, there is more tech bling for the higher-end Defenders, a digital gauge cluster and a head-up display. It's like the SUV version of having a personal theater in your car, complete with a holographic speedometer. Because in the Defender S world, it's not just a drive, it's a tech extravaganza on wheels. So, buckle up and prepare for a ride that s more Silicon Valley than Sahara Desert. Welcome to the Defender S Circus of Safety Features, where not only does it juggle the standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, but it throws in a lane departure warning with lane keeping assist for good measure. It's like having a personal safety net, and the Defender is the acrobat that never misses a beat. But wait, there is more! Among the slew of driver assistance technology, the Defender has a whole arsenal of unique systems specially crafted for off-roading and towing. It's like the SUV version of having a Swiss army knife of safety features, because who said safety can't be an adventure? Now, for the crash test enthusiasts out there, yes, they exist, you can dive into the thrilling world of Defender crash test results. Just visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS websites, it's like a crash test party, but with less smashing and more data. And if you're all about safety with a touch of futuristic flair, the Defender offers available adaptive cruise control. It's like the SUV version of having a co-pilot that not only keeps a safe distance but also knows when it's time to take the wheel. Because in the Defender S world, safety ISNT just a feature, it's a showstopper. So, buckle up for a ride where safety takes center stage, and the Defender is the ringmaster of the safety circus. It's not just an SUV, it's a guardian angel on wheels, with a few off-road tricks up its sleeve, of course. Thank you for taking the time to watch the Land Rover Defender review video. If you found it interesting and informative, 
please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on more fascinating automotive content. Share your thoughts and experiences with the Defender in the comments section below. We do love to hear the automotive community's opinions on this vehicle. For the latest updates on the automotive world and notifications about upcoming videos, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. Have a great and safe day on the road!